here and we're back in the garage this is like my fourth time making this intro and this is the last time i'm making the intro but yeah we're back in the garage as you can see my dad's corolla is also back in the garage we moved it on sunday back in the garage why do i keep saying back in the garage we moved it in here on sunday and uh you know there's been some updates to it while she's been outside it's weird he worked on it a lot while i was outside versus when i was inside but hey Teach his own. So he made a tunnel out of some nice aluminum with some uh, CAD, cardboard aided drafting. And then uh, for anyone that doesn't know, I was gonna make a separate video about this car just cause it's so, I don't wanna say different from what we normally do, which is Honda stuff. But um, you know, yeah, I was gonna make a separate video just, you know, to give it a, a deeper rundown and you know, and stuff like that. Because you know, this is my dad's second car. This was his first car right here. This was a, I'm not even sure. I think this was a 73 Corolla. And you know, that car won some wallies, you know, it did its thing, you know, my dad, the car's competitive, you know, it did in bracket, you know, it was pretty consistent 11.5 car. So uh, this car, you know, she's a little more on the crazier side as far as a full, you know, half chassis roll cage. Um, funny car cage around the driver g-force transmission like the pro stock cars use um 13b bridgeport nothing too crazy down there um you know it should, should make some decent power he thinks i don't know some of the numbers he throws out I, I think he's uh doubting himself a little bit but uh you know he's thinking about putting a holly a holly you see you on it because a uh, holly sells a full kit with a I'm not sure what to call it. Almost looks like a carburetor, but it's not a carburetor. It's a, uh, I'm not really sure. But it looks like a carburetor and it has inject two injectors on one side and two injectors on the other. And essentially, it's, I mean, it's fuel injected. It's fuel injection. You know, he's getting with the times. You know, my dad was a, you know, big carburetor guy like most people were back in the day. So, you know, he's finally getting with the times with the ECU stuff and all that stuff. But yeah, that's all the updates on his car. You know, hopefully it should be done this year. I don't know, keep saying he's thinking about selling it, get rid of it, and then uh, other times he's like, no, nah, I'm going to finish it. So, I don't know, we'll see. We'll see where her story ends or where, where it continues. But we're back with this thing. Um, after moving around all the stuff, both cars are up on jack stands too. Um, started messing with the windows a little bit, took the trim out. My dad said he's going to help me take them out since he, you know, he's done it before. Not necessarily on a Honda or an Acura, but, you know, he's done it on this car. He's done it on that car. That car had... Lexan all around. So we're gonna be doing the same thing except for the front windshield, like I always say, we're leaving this glass. Um, but you know, I was watching some videos, some people use spatulas, they get in here, they run it around, run it on the inside or whatever, and they also even like the spackle knives or whatever, they use those and get them done. So as you can see here, we have some valves and we have some springs. These don't have the smaller inner springs on them, and then we have the top part of the valve where is the other one it is on the valve all okay, right i mean it's on the spring i was scared for a minute i also thought i lost the um the keep the keepers too but i forgot i put them on a magnet which is somewhere i will find it i know where it is somewhere around here i'll find it don't worry but uh we're gonna put this back in because javier came by saturday and uh, I don't, I don't, I don't want to call it a rush job, but uh, I had somewhere to be, and I wasn't really aware that he was coming, to say. But I mean, it is what it is. You know, he got it done in a decent amount of time, and you know, I was able to get where I had to go. But um, yeah. So we're he um. So essentially, if you're wondering why two valves are out from each side, I mean, one valve from each side is out, and then the springs are out. It's because we use the inner springs. So it would still push down the valve. Let me turn on my light. Hopefully this kind of works. And eh, not really because it's to the side. But we, uh, so we can see across the other side to see how much clearance we had between the piston and the valve. And uh, so, yeah, essentially we're just, you know, me measuring to see if we need a thicker gasket, head gasket, or, uh, or if you could run like the standard, like I'm pretty sure it's like 30 millimeter head gasket. 
and uh, we can run the standard. We have more than enough room, more than enough clearance. But uh, my plan for today is to put this back together because now that we have our measurements and whatnot, we don't need it to be sitting like this. Um, so I'm gonna put it back together because it bothers me having loose parts like that. And then, um, you know, it was put together from the machine shop and it kind of bothers me that I had to take it back apart, but it is what it is. So we're gonna take it back apart. Um, for anyone that doesn't know, this is K24A2. Uh, like I said, I'm building it. I don't know, actually. Did I say it? But yeah, it's a it's all motor build. So we got a drag cartel, four or five cams, full super tech head, um, stock crank, stock rockers, uh, four piston cam gears, uh, Wiseco, 87 and a half pistons, and Skunk 2 Alpha rods. So yeah, here's the four piston cam gears. These things are probably the most adjustable cam gears on the market right now. If not, yeah, I'm pretty sure they're the most adjustable. I mean, I don't know how much adjustment we're actually going to need, but I guess it's better to have more than less. And for the price, it's they're pretty much the same as any other ones. And then uh, we have our Drag Cartel 4 or 5 cams, which if I'm not mistaken are like one of the bigger sets you can get. Because you have the BMF cams from Skunk 2, which I think are relatively the same. I mean, at, at that point, I think it's just preference, and I prefer the Drag Cartel 4 or 5. Because it came with my Super Tech head package. So, yeah, we're gonna take this apart. I already kind of started. So, uh, but like I said, uh, I recorded the intro again because I didn't like it. So, uh, yeah, so I'm gonna start that and I'm gonna start taking this apart and then maybe we'll get into some other stuff after. So we're back. We got the valves back in. I wasn't recording when I put them back in just because um, when I pulled it off, I didn't really have anywhere to put it. So I wasn't really focused on recording. I was just making sure I didn't drop it and I had the valves back in. But those are back in. We're going to pop the springs in now. Then we're going to pop the cams back in. But I'm not going to put the chain back on or anything like that. We'll figure that out when the head gasket gets here. And, you know, we got to pull it back off anyways. But I'm um, just going to put it there as for storage purposes. And, you know, just rather have it here than just sitting around anywhere. So I'm going to get those in and uh, I'll see you guys after I'm done. All right, guys, I'm going to make this quick because my phone is going to die. Hopefully it does not die while I'm doing this. But um, we got everything back together. Those valve keeps really gave me a run for my money. Like, I, like if if you were heard, you know, there's a lot of swear words. I was swearing. I was not a happy camper. Um, they really they really got to me a little bit. You know, you got to have patience when you do them. And I was not in the mood for patience. I was going to put it back together just to hold um, in our cam or cams. So everything's back together just to hold them. Um, those. <laughs> 